Welcome back to another episode of uh, Castle Lost Smart Home. Um, we will be pairing today, uh, we'll be pairing the lamp here up uh, with a motion sensor. Um, about a year ago I bought, uh, the first motion sensors I bought were Osram Smart Home, uh, or yeah, Osram Smart Plus motion sensors, uh, thinking uh, they would work with the Philips U hub. Um, Unfortunately, I was quite wrong on that one. Um, so they've been sitting on the shelf for a year until I started dabbling into Zigbee 2 MQTT um, and found out that I actually can use them with that so that they not now not door stops anymore. So we will be pairing them up today with our setup here and we will let them control this lamp. So uh, they're quite nifty, um, these little things here so um, it's smaller than the uh, Philips U ones they have a uh, light sensor built in uh, obviously motion and then also temperature and all of these channels are available and they won't give you battery re readout but they will tell you if the battery is low so um, there's that um, now I found that that they are they get a bit problematic uh, when you have uh, you have them paired up to something beforehand, and they don't really want to repair with something new. So what I found is I took the battery out. I found a lot of guides and even the um, the, 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 the 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 official guide. Uh, none of really uh, told me about what what to do with these, and they wouldn't pair. Um, eventually I found out there's only one method how you get these really connected. So let's see here. So the first thing obviously is we grab our Zigbee 2MQTT console. We stop that one. And then hang on, uh, show configuration. Um, and we uh, open up so that we actually can go and let it join, right? Um, as before, we are using the availability timeout for 60 seconds so that we know that the devices are on or off uh, or are there. And we are also using the experimental output attribute so we don't have to deal with JSON. Um, so, grant. And then we start this again. And the trick with these motion sensors is that basically, now once this is all started up, that's fine. Everything is there, make some space. So the trick with these is to hold, to have the battery out. Um, so the battery is not in it. Um, they have these little CR2 cells. Um, and basically there's a little button here on the side. Um, hold that in for four seconds. So 21, 22, 23, 24. And then you put the battery in and you release the button within a second. And it blinks blue, which means it's connecting. And then it goes green. And as you can see, it has gone and it has already talked to our Zigbee to MQTT implementation. So we are just waiting now for it to, uh, to finish up with the pairing here. It hasn't done much yet, the moment we're still interview started. So talking to each other. That takes about a minute, generally. And there we go, that's it. So if I go now, that's all values, that's great. Well, that was it, so we disconnect from this. Actually, we'll, we'll reconnect because what we want to do is we want to obviously go and first of all, no more devices. And we want to give it a friendly name, which is Osram Motion 1. Let me start this up again. There it is. So, um, they, when, when, when you trigger this motion sensor, it will generally reset itself after 30 seconds. So I'm just waiting for 
30 seconds. Maybe it actually goes and it hasn't. Uh, let's see here. Come on. Turn the light on in the meanwhile. That works fine. Um, you will see that some things are missing because um, I actually reinstalled my OpenHub 3 um, after I'd done some testing. Oh, there, there it is. See. So we have occupancy, which is true or false. Um, we have battery low, which is true or false. We have tamper. Don't know right now what that is. It's always true, seemingly. Um, we have the temperature, uh, 24.68 degrees, and then we have the link quality. Um, so uh, that's literally the, the things I have with this. Uh, they don't seem to give me a light value, um, unfortunately, but um, it's a good start. So uh, what we do next is we'll go and we'll uh, drag this out of the way here, and then we get started. Um, so settings as usual uh well, things and we have our mqtt broker um all of this is set up i will actually put links into the uh, description for the previous video where i paired the bulb the our geo 10 spot here uh from from ikea um and uh the remote uh, with uh, both on off and with brightness up down and with temperature uh, up and down I don't have that on this one right now but I have the other things so the first thing we go in here we go to the MQTT broker that's actually wrong um, we go into adding a new MQTT binding and it is a generic MQTT thing so that's the Osram motion one osram motion sensor one uh, the bridge is the mqt broker and um, we want advanced uh, we want uh, to we want to have the availability so that's osram motion motion one and that's either online or offline and create the thing great so that's our motion sensor here fantastic so the next thing then is to go to channels and add a channel um, so osram motion one uh, occupancy Osram motion one occupancy. That's great. And that is a trigger. And the trigger is uh sick b two mqtt forward slash osram motion one forward slash occupancy. So that's the one that we want here. Great. So that's that's it. And everything else then gets done by rules. So um, we can then basically make a rule uh, over here. Um, and the first thing is then to say uh, Osram motion, motion one on. I know there no trigger motion 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 osram motion one motion okay a trigger so thing event some motion sensor one trigger channel was fired our channel here uh, it's the occupancy and that one will be true. Done. So and when that uh, is triggered, we want item, we want the Kia spot, 
um, and we want to send that the on command and uh, we obviously yeah yeah that's that's basically it so we want to send it the on command every time so that's it um, okay let's see it's currently in true so we have to wait until it says let's see here come on 30 seconds there you go so and the light came on as you can see great so that's what that's what that is but the problem with that is that the um, obviously we want the light to go off after after a while and that's actually quite uh, quite easy to do in uh, open hub 3 they've made some massive improvements though so if we go to items and we go to IKEA spot on off and we can add metadata and then we can add an expiration timer um, after which we want to send the command off and let's say we'll uh, we'll wait for uh, two minutes um, so that really uh, say safe okay um, and then we go to uh, go to this here. Turn the light off for now. Okay, and we'll go to. Yeah, we can stay in this. That's good. So what we do is I'll go and I'll add my phone here now with the stopwatch. So you can follow. I don't know if that can be seen. A bit bright, is it? Okay, let's see brightness. It's down, way down. Is that better? Yeah, that counter is visible now. Let me turn this light off here. Also. So I'll start this timer. There you go. So that works perfectly. And if I had more motion in between, it would have uh, reset the timer and added another two minutes to it. And that works fine. The problem is now that um, if I turn the light on with the button, we have the problem that it still will go off after two minutes. And there is a solution to that, um, which I will go into um, afterwards um, and we'll, we'll have a look at that. So, great. So what we do now is, um, is that's, that's rather unhandy, uh, is we go and we remove this timer, we remove the metadata um, and um, the way this works better so we go back to items and we create an item and we call this um, presence one presence one the item is a um, Which there, 
Let's switch. Yes. Semantic class. Uh, I believe it's uh, yeah. That's a point. Um, and that is pretty much it. Great. So, and this thing is just a virtual virtual switch. So what we do with this is then we go in here and we uh, create uh, the expiration time on this. Send a command, send off. And after two minutes, save. Okay, so now we have <coughs> the light itself. And we have the virtual switch. And the light has no, no time on it. So it can switch it on with the button. It will stay on. Um, let's switch it off with the button. That's fine. Um, and uh, what we do then is we go and we change the rules. The motion sensor here. And uh, we will be switching presence one instead. Great. So items. Oh, I didn't save that. How impractical. Back to rules. Uh, we want to trigger presence one instead, and that needs to be saved. Okay, that's the rule updated. Just double check. Got that right now. Items, presence is off. Um, I'm just waiting for the motion sensor to reset because obviously I had movement in front of it. And that takes 30 seconds at the most. It has reset now. So we make movement and then go and refresh. And you can see it has uh, triggered our presence. Um, so we go in here. Okay, so the way we then deal with this is that we will make rules that when this presence one switch is triggered, it will switch on and off the switch. That means that if the motion sensor gets triggered, it will turn on and off the spot. But if we trigger the, the remote instead, the light stays on until there is movement in front of the um, of the uh, motion sensor. So the rules, quite simply, add a trigger, uh, thing event, item event, uh, back, add a trigger, item event, presence one, pick, uh, receive the command, on, done, action, item event, here spot on, pick, turn that on, but you only need to do that if the chaos spot is off. And that's called presence one on. Yeah. Presence one. And then another rule called presence one off. Just move this a little bit around so it doesn't see my motion. Or 
sorry, this is um, edit trigger item event presence one pick receive to command on item event chaos spot on. Sorry, this is the off one, isn't it? Yes. So receive the command off. This only has to be done if the light pack sheet is on. Done. Save. Okay, so we turn the light off. That's great. And as you can see, so we save this, go back to the rules. And if I now go and I say, um, let's see here, where is the motion sensor, in which state is it right now? It is in false. Okay, so if I now, basically now, what we should see in the uh, items is presence is on. We will turn it off just for the sake of that. So it's off now. And... Um, That comes on. Two minute counter running. Um, so, um, and that's literally that. So you can, and you can actually switch the light off if you want to um, also, there's no problem there. So uh, I hope that helps um, and uh, get some good use out of uh, the few more gadgets. Thank you for today.